I'm Stephen Amos. I'm the Vice President of Advancement here at Give Kids a World, which is the destination for wish children who wish to go to places like Disney World, Universal, and SeaWorld, and we provide them with a week-long cost-free vacation. Every child gets the same experience here, no matter what. They get three days at Disney, two days at Universal, a day at SeaWorld, as well as everything within 100 miles is free for them. So Busch Gardens, Legoland, Kennedy Space Center, Ripley's, Medieval Times, you name it, we have tickets for the families there. But then here on property, we have four accessible rides, we have a pool, we have a spa, we have dining halls. It is an all-inclusive resort for these kiddos. Give Kids World is really tied in with the whole theme park industry. Our carousel that we have here was donated by Vacoma. The shuttle that takes the families around here was donated by Intamin. We have animatronics that are donated by Sally Dark Ride. So just everywhere you look around this property, somebody within the theme park industry has had an impact on that, the thought process and the installation of it. So where we are tonight is at Night of a Million Lights, which is our second year of hosting this light show that has over three million lights. The part of the show we're in right now is the dancing light show, so very reminiscent of the Osborne Spectacle Dancing Lights at Disney's Hollywood Studios. The villas around here have 500 controllable points for seven songs that are choreographed to dance on these houses. It's so easy to talk about the place, but it's so much better to see it. So let's go on a tour right now. So in this courtyard right here, we see a couple different buildings here. Over here is Julie Safari Theater, and it is a full movie theater. It runs first run movies, so when Disney releases Star Wars in theaters, it's in our movie theater also. I mean, just imagine a family who, what seven movie tickets would cost, and the you know popcorn, the sodas, it's all free here. And then Amberville, it's kind of like our FEC. There's rides, there's arcade games back there, uh, Tornado has a boat installation back there, all the video game systems are in there. So here at Amberville, we have three of our four attractions. So here on my left, it's Lori's Magical Flight. It's a spinner type attraction where you pedal to go up and down, but if you don't have accessibility or mobility in your legs, you can actually either one, roll in your wheelchair or transfer into a seat where you can hand crank to go up and down. And then behind me here, only two years old is Kelly's Sunny Swing which is a swing type attraction, but uh, we ripped out the middle section of it that a wheelchair can actually roll into it, lock into place and get that same swing feel. And then uh, Jurassic Junction Railroad, it just uh, actually two months ago, uh, got rehabbed into what it is today. Before it was an awesome Zamperla train that just took you around the property here, but there was no storyline to it. Now um, there's uh, speakers built into it, there's scenic on there, so you can actually see the original Jurassic Park uh, Triceratops uh, from the movie out there. There's a whole waterfall scene back there. So this is Mark's Dinoput. It's a seven hole miniature golf course that was built and designed by Universal Studios Orlando. So every hole has something special on it, either an animatronic or a black light hole or something that'll spit water at you. So a very, very interactive. I mean, the rock work just on the, the volcano is so impressive. So very, very detailed miniature golf course here. Many children in wheelchairs, understandably, have never been on a carousel. On ours, we have two, the snail and the turtle, swing around. Seat comes out, the person rolls in, seat belt behind so it doesn't roll out, spin it around, the kid takes a run. So we have two of these paper collectors from Eflin Park. Um, the backstory is they have 16 villas very similar to Give Kids a World. We helped uh, design it for them, blueprint it, and they actually welcome wishes to their theme park. So as an exchange gift, we have uh, this one and we have an elephant down the road also. So it's a little tidbit if, you're, if you frequent the Netherlands theme parks, this is one of them. Oh, you. You. 
So this is Henry Starlight Scoops. We start serving breakfast at 8 o'clock in the morning here at the village, but we start serving ice cream at 7.30 in the morning because we encourage all wish kids to eat ice cream for breakfast on their trips. And Henry Starlight Scoops is actually the first building ever designed by both WDI and Universal Creative together. So it shows that there's no competition within the walls here. Part of our redesign of Henry Starlight Scoops was, again, a big thing for us was accessibility. And some of the feedback that we were getting was that kids in wheelchairs would roll up to the ice cream case but couldn't see the flavors. So we actually custom built it to be lower to the ground so a child in a wheelchair can roll up and see all the flavors that we offer our guests. This is Mickey and Minnie, but larger than that is our relationship with Walt Disney World. They're a founding member of the village. Um, and you know, just how much they uh, provide for our families is that every single wish child in their entire family gets a three-day hopper ticket, which is an incredible contribution. But uh, during non-pandemic times, Mondays and Fridays, Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, and Goofy, Donald and Daisy, they do meet and greets for the families here also. So they come up for a couple hours and you know, they do our laundry, they do our textile services, they do uh, a lot of our telecom services. So Disney through and through, absolutely incredible partnership. So of course, it's kind of cool to highlight these two guys. So we're walking into the part of the event where our partners decorated villas or decorated their own yard. So 25 different partners throughout this entire event uh, were given a whole yard, driveways, and said, do whatever you please. Um, first up is Disney World with this huge installation. They took a small world theme for the 50th anniversary. So that's a true, genuine small world boat from their attraction. And for me, it holds a special place in my heart. Uh, I, for my birthday, I always do a ride marathon. I ride some attraction from open to close. Uh, and for the first time, I chose Small World. So I did it for 12 hours straight. Um, and the theme park was so accommodating to me that they actually didn't make me get off the boat most of the time so I could consecutively run it nonstop. And that was the day that I, if I read, met a $6,000 goal, I would only eat turkey legs for the entire day. Uh, and I held true to that. So I try to find fun ways to punish my body all for supporting Give Kids the World. So SeaWorld is one of the founding members uh, of Give Kids the World. This is an awesome installation. They're celebrating the opening of Icebreaker next year with their sign here, but it's clean and simple for a photo opera here. We're really fortunate to have Mark Woodbury, who is the uh, president of Universal Creative, to be on the board for Give Kids the World. So he tasked his creative team to actually design this entire yard concept. So there's multiple vignettes here, so many uh, hidden details, all the way from having grew on the rooftop of the villa to custom made graphics. So these were just designed for Night of a Million Lights here. And then incredible music soundtrack that's playing the entire night. It's a little interesting to hear a minion singing all for one, I swear, but I love it. And then even the windows are projection maps for this too. So they went above and beyond with color temperatures for everything for their lighting to the audio. They really did a full experience here for the families. This is a Lego lens installation. Beautiful uh, snowman as well as you can see two elves are decorating a tree here. So this is a Ripley's installation. They really got the memo of trying to make really unique photo opportunities for our guests. So, I mean, there's a guy wrapped in crystal lights hanging from the tree right here. Uh, it extends all the way down the yard here. And these are all true, real people. And they all have QR codes. You can scan them and find out who they really are. Here at Give Kids World, we welcome families from all 50 states as well as from 76 different countries. And to kind of give you a number, one in eight wishes are international here at the village. Everything for the entire wish trip is designed for the whole family. Here at the castle, it's the one really special moment for the wish child. When they check in, they're given a gold star. They can write their name, memory, date, whatever they want on there, and it's something that they get to leave behind here at the village forever. It's an awesome place of reflection if you ever do come back here, but it's just the storytelling I've seen. You gotta imagine we've welcomed 177,000 wish children here since we've opened kind of looking at how many stars there really would be. So it's a special impact for the family, the wish child, and again, for years to come that they can come back and visit their star.
It's been an absolute privilege coming here to give kids the world, and we want to do our part to give back. On December 15th, we'll be hosting a live stream in support of Give Kids the World, and all of the ad revenue made from this video will also go towards Give Kids the World. And we also have a fundraiser going on Give Kids the World. The link is going to be down in the description, and anything you donate on there, 100% of that, as well as anything from the live stream, is all going to go directly to this organization. That'll run directly between now and New Year's, and the top donors of the Give Kids the World fundraiser that we're doing will win a private video call with us. This is an amazing cause, an absolutely amazing place. I've cried a little bit today checking it out and we just want to give as much support as possible so please if you have anything please donate thank you guys so much for watching this video and we'll see you guys next time